bits to go in here. Aw, raccoon. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed, miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain or by decapitating her completely. Ugh. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Yeah, we'll just leave you alone. Alone with the corpse. Kitty. A stuffed animal. Now, I don't know how, it, I mean, that is technically a stuffed animal, but when someone says stuffed animal, I think a teddy bear. Uh, sounds like something just went running. Now, fight your instincts to chase. Go around the other way. Alright. There's a dark room here. We can't see what's in here. I should brought the lighter. No, no, we don't need to use the lighter. What we need to do is hit the switch on the wall here. And look, there's a note. Secretary's Diary B. June 8th. I was straightening up the chief's room when he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. Last time was when I bumped in that statue. Only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought he was going to hurt me. I finally discovered what the chief had been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. Alright, so what was the secretary talking about? Well, we'll, we'll find out later, because there's that little girl. Wait, let me go! Easy, easy there, I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. <laughs> My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry, do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right, but it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was uh -oh. that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. Now we've heard that roar when we were playing as Leon. Up, oh, Samma. Now, I, 
may have mentioned that I had to replay this game several times to get ready for this, but I swear somewhere in the back of my memory, I can remember Agent X showing up in this hallway and just just staring me down. I can also vaguely remember there being ammo behind this stuffed cat. Well, the chief is gone. Chief? So is the mayor's daughter. But... There's a heart key. There's also a note on his chair. Chief's Diary. September 23rd. It's all over. Those imbeciles from an umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may have been infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. September 24th. I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned. I made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police action, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from the inside the precinct have been cut off as well. There are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. September 26th. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I can enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. So yeah, the chief has been up to some nasty things. But he's got this weird picture here. There's a button below it. Well, you know what happens when you find a button, you push it. The sacrifice dies by the claws of the jaguar. Its blood forms a serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle glistens, bathed in blood. And the gateway of doom will open. Well, this relief behind the painting has indentations for three squares. Well, we have a jaguar. Well, we have an eagle and a serpent stone. And they fit just nicely. But there looks like there should be a third one. So I have to keep our eyes open for that. If I remember correctly, the heart key we want to use down over here. Do I need anything else? At the moment, I don't think so. We went this way with Leon to find Ada. Now, if Leon had used his cord to lock up these switches, to lock up these shutters, well, this room would have been full of zombies if I had gone to the library. Actually, are there? Come on, Claire. 
Yes. Acid rounds. I like that. Alright, keep your ears open. I don't hear anything coming. And there's our map of the basement. And here is the reserve power puzzle. Same solution that we used for Leon. Up, down, up, down, up. Gets us to 80. Now the key card to the arm storage room is activated. It was over this way that Leon met with Ada, but there's nobody here to hang out with us. Yeah, we want to go back this way. We came through here really briefly when we were playing as Leon, but Claire actually has to go through here. Ah, and there's a doggy up there. I don't think we can shoot at it. We can shoot at it now. Badly did I get beat up. Reasonably badly. Yeah, beware of dogs, no kidding. Honestly, I shouldn't have bothered trying to fight with them. Should have just ran down the manhole. Or jumped down the manhole, I guess. Put our acid rounds away. Gonna need some of this stuff a little later. But let's mix another herb. And I think that's gonna do it for in here. And there's Sherry. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! 
Sherry! Well, now we get to play Sherry. And if this area looks familiar, well, that's because this is the same area we went to as Ada. Now, Ada had to deal with dogs. Sherry has to deal with zombies. But Sherry has no weapons. She does have first aid spray. She has a pitcher. A pitcher taken fairly recently. Well, it's a picture of her, her mother, and her father. Now, thankfully, since Sherry is so tiny, the zombies don't try to grab us. They just vomit on us. But looky what we find in here. Alright, so we found some grenade rounds, just like how Ada found shotgun shells. same area that Ada went to, and we have to do the same puzzle. So Sherry, with her tiny little girl body, has to push all these crates around. Actually, she's not doing too bad. Although she has a little trouble getting up on the crates. Hit the lever. And we got ourselves a little bridge. And the club key should be right over here. There it is. It's in the shape of a club. Juke and jive our way past the zombies and back down this elevator. Claire, are you there? Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay, but I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Here's another! Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire! I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore! But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself! Yep, she's a resourceful Sherry, little kid. Sherry! Sherry! Uh, what does Leon have to say? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Alright, well that's where we want to go. And we were just right over there, actually. Claire, do you want to pick up those grenades? 
Thank you. But that's not the grenades, but... Now, if I remember correctly, we can stack grenades of the same type inside of the grenade gun. There we go. So that saves us a little bit of space. Let's see. Well, now that we have the club key, there are three different doors that we can open. Two of them are very, very close. Here's one of them. Ooh, I probably should have came better prepared. You hear that? That's the telltale sign of a liquor. I don't think I have enough room. There's another one. Oh, we're doing fine. That was hardly a problem at all. Yeah, normally that is a bad idea. Bow guns against liquors? Mm -mm. Uh, use the grenade gun, use the magnum. Heck, use the shotgun if you, if you got it. Lots of goodies for Claire in here. Now, not only is there a whole bunch of ammo to find, if you remember, we left the extra items behind for her during Leon's playthrough. Now, we're going to take the side pack, but we're also going to take the machine gun. This machine gun, unlike the machine gun we used earlier, does not affect our score. So we're going to hang on to it and we're going to use it, especially against some of the bigger, nastier enemies. Yeah, like Agent X. Though we haven't seen him for a while. acid rounds, and we'll also drop off the bow gun and its ammunition. I'm going to need that lighter soon. Am I going to have a chance to pick it up? No, I don't think so, so I'll hang on to it.
Alright, there's probably going to be some dogs out here. Now, if I'm fast, I should be able to slip by them all. There we go. And Leon and Ada have moved the van over here. Oh, but I can hear some chewing. Oh, that's a dog. Yeah, there's more than one. Yeah, but you don't have me stuck in a little hallway this time. Although I am a little aggravated, you kind of have to wait for them to stand up before you can shoot them again. Anything on this body? And more film. So our buddy Ben was back here until he got chest bur bursted. Um, let's grab that just in case. How much space do I have? Nah, I think I'll have to leave it behind. Yeah, there's there's what's left of him. The body has been torn apart. Something appears to have burst out from the inside. Yeah, nasty. Yeah, we'll take the bowgun bolts. Might as well. What we really want is in here. Ow. I'm letting myself get hurt way too much. There's a red herb right over here. Oh, well, not in this playthrough. There's a blue one. What we really want is that. But I've got no other, I've only got one open slot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that green herb back in the jail cells. Then we'll come back and get the crank. Now, I guess I could always go back to the item box. It's not that far away. We check the crank, the end is square shaped. So we have a square crank. Now remember, those doggies are outside, so we want to run past them. There we go, nice and easy. 